come with me for a fun and fascinating look at many types of racing cars, motorcycles, and go-karts. Today, we're going to a racetrack in Tooele, Utah. Utah is a state located in the western part of the United States in the Rocky Mountains. The racetrack we're visiting is Miller Motorsports Park. This park has one of the most modern and extensive racing facilities in the United States. You're looking at an aerial view of the racetrack right now. This track is located at the foot of the Rocky Mountains. Some of these mountains reach up to 12,000 feet above sea level, or 4,000 meters. The racing facility itself is about 5,000 feet above sea level. There are always lots of entertaining things happening at the track. Come with me. Today, we're going to the racetrack. Here we are in the pits. The pits. This is the nerve center for today's races. Cars are transported in from all over the country and from all over the world to compete in races. Racing is a very expensive sport. The cars are expensive. The trucks that transport the cars are expensive and the equipment is expensive. As you'll see, competitive race teams require large support staffs to be successful. This also costs a lot of money, but racing is very fun and exciting. Some cars race in divisions for modified streetcars. This is a Mazda RX-8, which is modified a great amount for racing. Each car is assigned to a specific garage in the pits. This is where cars come for adjustments and for repairs during the race weekend. The cars in front are specially designed race cars that are called prototypes. Prototypes. These cars were never intended for street use they are only raced on high-performance race courses. This is a Pontiac chasing a Porsche. Pontiac is made in the United States. Porsche is made in Germany. These cars are designed for street use and then modified for racing. The Pontiac is a little faster than the Porsche. In endurance racing, several different drivers will drive the same car. When cars come into the pits for refueling and new tires, the drivers will also change. This can be a challenge because some drivers are tall, others are short, and adjustments must be made to accommodate the drivers. As you can see, the exchange is quite a process. Drivers need to be buckled into their safety harness and communication equipment needs to be connected. The tube in the front of the driver's helmet is for hydration. This tube is connected to a watering system that provides the driver much needed hydration during the course of a long, hot race. Temperatures on the racetrack can easily reach 125 degrees Fahrenheit that's about 50 degrees Celsius. Drivers can lose 5 to 10 pounds in an endurance race or 3 to 5 kilos. 
As you can see, this driver is anxious to get back out on the track. This team has successfully changed drivers, changed tires, refueled the race car, and made adjustments to the chassis or frame, as well as the suspension. Let's watch a pit stop, this time from outside of the car. The yellow tubes connected to the car are to fill the car's tank with fuel. The black tube on the top of the car is a high pressure air hose. When the air hose is connected, it operates an internal jack system that is underneath the car. The jack system automatically lifts the car up to allow the tires to be changed. It is very important that the teams work efficiently in the pits. Teams that make slow pit stops lose precious time and position on the track. Good, efficient teams will gain precious time and track position. Watch these cars exit the pits. Note how close they are together. It is easy to see that a quick pit stop can lead to a big advantage. Just say. 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 Hello. Welcome to Come With Me. Today, we're going to the racetrack. Racing is a challenging sport. Even under the best conditions, it is very difficult. When you add in adverse conditions, such as rain, the results are often disastrous. cars are not designed to perform in the rain. They have no traction. These two Porsches are being very careful. The cars are designed to race on dry tracks. Even with special rain tires, the drivers must be very cautious. It is better to slow down than to be too aggressive and crash. Sometimes cars crash because of driver error. Sometimes crashes occur because of equipment failure. The red car, number 55, is a Ferrari. Ferraris are manufactured in Italy. This driver 
doesn't realize he has a flat rear tire. He needs to be careful not to cause severe damage to the car. He needs to get back to the pits to change the flat tire. One of the best things about this racing facility is that it is very safe. Notice that when the cars go off the track, there is plenty of runoff area, or in other words, there is a good amount of space for the cars to slow down. We've seen lots of accidents and situations where cars have left the track, but no one was injured. Imagine what would happen if there were trees or fences near the course. This driver is talking to his team in the pits. He'll be back in the pits in just a moment, and they'll have a new front end ready for the car. It will take only a few minutes to make the repair, and then the driver will join the race again. Sometimes things on a racetrack can go very wrong. This car just lost its engine. It is out of the race. Engine replacements cost from between $15,000 and $150,000. This turned out to be a very expensive day for the team in the white car. <laughs>